All right, guys, Team Platinum, we're coming at you with a band workout. All right, we're going to do a full body banded workout if you have a resistance band at home, okay? We're going to go with a full body. So what we're going to do today, four sets of 10 per exercise, all right? Four sets, 10 reps per exercise. Okay, so we're going to be focusing on the squeeze here. Slow, eccentric motion, focusing on the mind-muscle connection. Go as slow as you can with most of these motions, which we will cue you for, but we want to feel a squeeze. There's no rush on these reps, all right? We want to squeeze it. We're going to be looking at Matt on this first one here. As you can see, he has his resistance band on the ground. We're going to have both strands on the ground. Our feet are on it. This is going to be a suitcase style deadlift. Hands to the side. As you can see, the hips are pointed back, and we're going to come through at the top with the hips, all right? Hips going back. Hips going forward as you keep your back flat on your way down. Eyes go to the ground, pull the hips through at the top. He's going to turn to the side for you. As you can see, the first motion, hips are going back and coming forward at the top. Hold that squeeze at the bottom for a couple seconds. Feel it in that hamstring there and bring it through at the top on that first exercise. If you need to modify, guys, you need less resistance, let's take one foot off of that band just like that and that will decrease that resistance and you can still knock out that exact same motion. All right, so that is your first exercise. Exercise number two here, we're gonna be doing a resistance band row. All right, so what you're gonna do is you are gonna have the band doubled just like that. You're gonna step on it with one foot, all right, and we are going to drive the elbow back. You're gonna use that other leg for a brace so you can have your back flat. As you can see, you're gonna lead with that elbow back as you keep that resistance on the band. All right, so Matt will turn to the side for you and show you what that's gonna look like from the side. All right, use that leg for a brace. Keep your back flat. All that focus is on driving the elbow backwards, okay? So your modified version of this, if you have any low back issues, we're gonna go to the ground. We're going to wrap that resistance band around our feet just like so, and we're gonna be doing the version of a seated row, okay? So chest up high, we're gonna lean slightly back, and we're gonna drive the elbows back. You wanna keep the feet pointed away from your face, away from your face, as you keep the chest up and drive the elbows back, all right? If you need to modify for that, let's do one arm at a time, still knocking out that same motion. All right, that is exercise number two. Exercise number three with our resistance band workout here. We're going to be doing a prone pull apart. So that means you are going to be on your stomach here. You're going to start with both strands of that band. All right, you're going to lift the legs off the ground. All right, as you can see, the band is in front. Keep that tension tight. We're going to drive the elbows back. As you can see, he's shaking already. If you're doing it correctly, you're going to shake from the start. All right, so at the back, you're going to hold that for two to three seconds. Get a good squeeze. We don't want you going crazy with the band. Drive the elbows back just like that. As you can see, his chest comes up. All right, and we're gonna hold it for two to three seconds at the back. All right, guys, if you need to modify, you have any shoulder issues, or you need less resistance, we're gonna grab one strand of that band, all right? Same exact motion, two to three second hold at the back. Nice and controlled as you keep the legs and chest off the ground, all right? So just like that. If you need to modify down any further, let's get rid of the band and knock out that exact same motion. That's exercise number three. Exercise number four, we're gonna work on the guns, all right? So this one is gonna be a hammer curl. What we're gonna do is we're gonna step on the band with our feet, all right, midfoot with it. We're gonna go with our palms facing each other, fists facing out. This is gonna be a hammer curl, all right, guys? So we're only hinging at that elbow there as we come up chest high. Nice, slow, and controlled. Let's keep that band tight, all right? Tension is tight on that band the whole time. As you can see, he's gonna turn to the side there. Keep that elbow in position as you come up, all right? Our modification for this, guys, if you need less, let's bring our feet closer together to decrease that tension on the band, just like that. All right, if you need to modify down even further, let's go one arm at a time, all right? One at a time, so you have some assistance there. All right, guys, that is your exercise number four. Exercise number five here, we have a hip thrust. All right, so watching Matt here, pay close attention to where this resistance band goes. We're gonna put one strand around the midfoot there, just like that. You are going to bring the band back, and as you come back, you're gonna grab both strands, all right? You're gonna, at that point, you're gonna lean back and wrap the band around the hip area, okay? From there, what you do is you have your weight on your heels, just like that. It's where you're having contact with the ground from the heel. Now, all you're gonna do is hold that band around the hip area, and you're going to thrust 
through the top, all right? So you do not have to go all the way back to the ground. The goal is to keep that tension on the whole time. So come almost to the ground and then thrust up at the top. Yet again, we're gonna hold this at the top for two to three seconds to get that time under tension, all right? Work in those muscles. Keep your weight on the heel. And that is your exercise for number five. Squeeze the glutes on this one, guys. Exercise number six. We're gonna be doing cross body punches here, okay? We're gonna really squeeze that core. Again, slow and controlled. Focus on your range of motion here. Get a good squeeze as we come across the body. All right, looking at Matt, he's gonna show you guys how to get the band around first. All right, so both strands, fist inside there, going over the back, all right? We're gonna go with that cross body punch here. So first way to do it would be to have your feet off the ground, slight lean back, and we're gonna be punching that fist across the outside of that opposite knee, okay? Slow and controlled as you come across. As you can see, the band is tight the whole time. We're not rushing this motion. Slow and controlled across that opposite knee. If we need to modify, let's have one foot on the ground, okay? One foot on the ground, knocking out that exact same motion. If we need to modify any further, let's have both feet on the ground, just like that, focusing on that squeeze and time under tension as you cross the body. That is your exercise number six. You can see it from the side here as well. Matt is going nice, slow, and controlled, and that's exactly what we need from you guys at home. Focus on that squeeze, let the air in and out as you're exerting that force, all right? Exercise number seven here. This is going to be a hollow body hold with some resistance. Okay, so we're gonna start on our back there, all right? You're gonna have that band spread apart in your hands just like that. We're gonna go above the chest, keeping the tension on the band the whole time. The shoulders come off the ground, all right? And then we're gonna slowly lift the legs off the ground. We're gonna hold this the entire time. You should be shaking the entire time, guys. Shoulders off the ground, feet off the ground. First modification, guys, if your low back takes over, let's bend the knee a little bit, all right? Have the knees bent so you can hold that exact same motion. Next modification, if you need a little bit less on the shoulders there, let's grab one strand of that band. Shoulders still off the ground, feet off the ground, hold it out. If you have further shoulder issues there, let's hold the band chest high, all right? Just like that. Exercise number eight here, we're gonna be doing an overhead split squat, okay? So looking at Matt here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna step one foot onto that resistance band, mid foot again, guys, just like that. We're gonna bring our elbows inside of the band, all right, inside there. From there, we're gonna go straight up with the band, holding it overhead the whole time, and now we're gonna get into that split squat stance. Be sure you have a full range of motion here, step back, so your back can stay straight as you go up and down. The knee almost goes to the ground, guys. You do not rest the knee on the ground. You come close to the ground, and then you repeat, coming straight back up. All right, guys, if you need to modify down a little bit, or you have any shoulder issues, let's avoid that overhead motion. Let's hold it chest high the whole time, and we're gonna knock out that exact same motion. Matt's gonna turn to the side here to show you how your back needs to stay straight on this motion, guys. It's not a lunge. It's straight up and down as that knee almost comes to the ground, guys. Keep that tension on the band. You're gonna love this one. Grow the quads here, guys. Be sure you switch sides as well. And that is your exercise number eight. Hope you guys enjoy this circuit. Let us know some feedback. Thankful for Matt demoing all these exercises. He's a champ.